Elizabeth and Declan Murphy, orphaned, abducted, violated. I was working missing persons when I found the girl, but not before I found her brother's body. She knew. I promised her justice, that I would put away the monster who did this to them. That poor, angelic little girl, little Elizabeth. Found him, Father Farland Chapel. That's when I began to drink. My testimony would end him, and I never made it. No one could accept him for the demon he was. Those bastards let him walk. No, it was me. I was drunk. I had to put this to an end. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been a year since my last confession. Go ahead, my son. Last night I made a promise to God. One that I feel I can no longer keep. The most sacred promise we can make is the promise we make to God. And now that I'm back in the church, I fear I can no longer. Yes, my son? Kill you. Vincent, my boy. Is that you? I couldn't kill him, but I could burn him. It's been 12 years since that night, my last night as a cop. Now I sell dirty pictures to husbands and wives. It's no first rate work, nevertheless. It's always been straightforward, that is, until her. Phoebe and Kirby should have known she would have been trouble. She was too calm, alluring, bewitching. I didn't stand a chance. I'm afraid my lover's been sleeping around. Lover, husband, boyfriend? Girlfriend. Her sweetheart, Amelia Stone, worked at the Magnolia Club, a shady back alley joint in the pits, serving watered down drinks. I liked the place. Gave her the standard contract. She gave me the deposit. And I got to work. There she was, Miss Amelia Stone. I sat at the club watching from a dark corner. When this gent shows up as they closed, they left, never knowing I followed them here. Easy money. Miss Kirby was waiting in the dark after office hours. She wasn't one to rest. She took it better than most. Still, I arrogantly offered a drink. She replied, whiskey. I woke up alone, never sleep with a client. She left a note saying she would be back for the photos and with the check. I looked over the photographs. If the developer botched them, I wasn't getting a check. Before I could light my lucky strike, I noticed something. A mark. A mark that shouldn't have been there. The cross I burned on Chapel's neck. It was there. It was him. The Divine Father Farlin Chapel disappeared after I branded him. I went back where I followed him and the dame. I tried jimmying the window, unaware what I would do next.
Vincent, are you with me? Damn, he got the bum's rush on me. He had me more attached to this chair than I was to my ex-wife. How the hell was I going to get out of this? He's enjoying this, like a boy with a magnifying glass and an anthill. You need to slow on the drink. Gluttony is a mortal sin. Kidnapping. Sodomy and murder aren't. Not when it is the will of God. They were children! They were born in depravity and sin, covered in filth and soot. They could not be saved. They could only be extinguished. I will kill you. No, my son, you will not. He left me there to bleed. My only motivation to get up and get out of that place was the Irish whiskey in my desk. Rough night. What are you doing here? Did you get my note? Oh yeah, your note. Not one for breakfast, are you, doll? Not when it's on the couch. Hey, I like that couch. Jesus, what happened? I called around asking for a few favors from men you don't want to owe a nickel to. But I had to find them. I couldn't let them leave the city. Not alive. This, uh, Farland Chapel, is that who did this to you? He's also the man that's been seeing Amelia. So you found him? He found me. He waited for me. Why didn't he try to kill you? Sorry to disappoint. That's not what I meant. A tip came through from the dockyards. The cool air was a relief to my warm, dried blood. And there he was. Now let us pray. O holy hosts above, I call upon thee as a servant of Jesus Christ to sanctify our actions this night in preparation for the fulfillment of God. Why was she here? I pressed her to stay in the office. You broke your promise. You promised me justice a long time ago. He killed my brother. It was her, the little orphan Elizabeth Murphy. Elizabeth? She trusted me and I broke my promise. I'm sorry. You broke my heart. 